thank you for allowing me to speak tonight. It's an honor, it's a privilege. Mr. Paul, you know, I've worked in this county for several years with kids. I am a very dedicated person when it comes to an issue I believe in. It. And I feel just dedicated to the animals if I do the children. There are rules, regulations, and I've got a copy of all the ordinances that you all have, have done. They're excellent ordinances. The problem is the implementation of them. And I'll give you an example. I'm going down Beavis. I see a police officer pass me with the truck in front of me. He's got two dogs in the back. Just running everywhere. There's an ordinance against that. Why are these ordinances being ignored by law? I said, hmm. Maybe I want to get and ask a few officers just how much do they know about it. So I have. They don't know anything about any of the animal ordinances. They're not taught in police academy or when you get on a job. And I wonder if there's some way that we can educate our law enforcement to do this. If not, then please take into consideration our offer from the Humane Society to certify our animal control officers. If they did, it would save the county money. And how was that going to happen? They have an animal control officer pulls up to a scene and the person on the property gets irate. They have to back out, call the sheriff's department to get a backup. The officer shows up. So now we have wasted valuable time. The animal control, control officer and the other officers could have been off doing whatever they need to do. If the animal control officer is certified, then he or she could act underneath the law. So I think it's imperative that we look at saving money. And I know you all do. You look at the budget very tight. I, I believe I sit here the other night, or the, uh, the last time I was here, and I sat through the budget meetings. I see the budget. And I thought, how in the living take did they come up with these figures? And it's, it's astronomical. It's beyond my comprehension. But I ask you to please reconsider the animal control officer being certified, post-certified. Uh, should it be under the sheriff's department? I don't know. Should it be underneath the code enforcement? I don't know. That's your job. That's not my job. But I think our animals in the community deserves the same rights as my children, myself, or your animals. If your animal is at the shelter, it should receive the same courtesy that you would give it at home. If you're not, if you're a good animal lover, which I know you are, you will take your dog anywhere you go. You won't kick your dog. You won't slap your dog. So I don't, I don't want that happen either. And it's hard for me to sit in the director's position at the Humane Society and somebody calls up and says, I can't keep my animal. What do I do with it? I have to send it to the shelter. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, which employee is going to get it? Now, do you have some, some good employees out there? You have some of the best, most loving animal lovers out there. And I commend them. I truly commend them. And uh, those are the ones we should keep. The ones that are not doing their job or mistreating an animal, please turn it. That's what it is. Thank you. Just as a point of clarification, if he did certify the ACOs, they still have to be attached to an agency, which means they'd have to be attached to the sheriff's office. Okay, they I can, didn't they know that. You cannot work as a law officer for the commission. Okay. They would have to be attached to the sheriff's office. Super. Thank you very much.